Throughout the games and books, we learn much about Remnant and Agony. In the books, we learn that Remnant is made from positive emotions that can be extracted from possessed animatronics, with the substance capable of giving life to otherwise inanimate objects. Two good examples of his effects are Charlie from the books, whose heavenly emotions gave life to as a whole, and Molten Freddy, who is possessed by a large amount of Remnant. Agony, on the other hand, is the polar opposite of Remnant, being almost an infection of negative emotions caused by severe tragedies, with the agony giving objects paranormal properties, even if they are directly possessed. Two examples of the effect of this substance are Eleanor, a being that was entirely composed of agony, and potentially the Baha, who could have been birthed from the agony left behind within the ruins of Henry's Pizzeria. With all of this information in mind, it could be possible that William did extensive research into Remnant, learning of his curation and how it could be harvested. Despite his research, however, he could never duplicate actual Remnant, due to it needing positive emotions, resulting in his Remnant being tainted, likely influencing the fun times more violent tendencies. Just like we see what happened in the fourth closet, William couldn't replicate Remnant, and instead would feed off negative emotions and fear that he would cause, either willingly or unaware which would allow him to survive as a death, even without the help of Remnant itself.